Okay, so here's a question out of your workbook that says, use your calculator to find the area enclosed between by y equals 3 minus x squared and y equals 1 over x plus 1. This threw me off a little bit today, and I think uh, Ashley, <laughs> sorry. Um, the idea here is enclosed by, in, enclosed by. Uh, the other thing that I want you to think about is which curve is other is over the other curve, and it, you'll see why that makes a difference in just a second. So here we are on our CAS calculator, and if you don't mind, let's go to uh, graphs, and let's try to graph this out a little bit. <clears throat> so the first function was just 3 minus x squared, wasn't it? It's x squared, and it looks like that. <clears throat> the second curve was this one, was, uh, what is this, control division, if you remember on your calculator, and it's 1 over x plus 1. Okay, so it has to be enclosed. So this is, I guess, what I want you to be able to see here is that this is true, right? This is what I'm looking at right here. Is It's enclosed here, isn't it? It's enclosed here, right? It's enclosed from here, this intersection of the two curves here, and the intersection of the two curves here, all right? So there's a couple ways we can figure this out. What I want to remind you first is that look at where it's in, where it's enclosed from here, the intersection of the green curve and the red curve here, to the intersection of the green curve and the red curve here. The red curve is higher, and the red curve is defined by this. This is the red curve right here. Is this three minus x squared curve? Just something to keep in mind. Okay, so let's look at that for a second. So this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try to analyze this because it says that we're supposed to analyze this with our calculator. I hit integral, and the first thing it asks me down here, it says, which graph? And all you have to do is tap the graph that you want. <clears throat> and then what you want to do here is this. You want to align this thing right on that intersection. You see it right there? So it's that one right there, isn't it? And then what I want to do is, if you're paying attention, what I'm trying to hit is, where does, see where I am here? Where does it intersect right where does it intersect? The curve. Where do the two curves intersect? I don't want the, I don't want the x inter intersect intersection of the red curve. I want to know where they Golly, that's really difficult, isn't it? All right, right there. All that good? So about five point seventeen is what we have there. Right? So there's there's the area under the red curve from where where it's enclosed by the two, right? So it's five seventeen. Then what I want to do is analyze again. <clears throat> and on the second analysis, what I want to do, of course, when I choose the curve, it says graph, I want to hit this green one right here. And I want to set up the same place, right? Right? As perfectly as I can to make them match here over to just trying to connect the dots, put them right on top of each other, to here, right? And those are the two areas. Well, I don't I don't want the, the total area under the red in this box right here, do I? I don't want this bottom part of it. So how I'm going to get rid of that is I'm going to subtract that out. So I'm going to go to my calculator. And remember, I have 5.17, 5.17 minus 1.88. So go to my calculator, insert calculator. Five point one seven minus what did I say it was? One point eight eight. One point eight eight. Three point two nine. Man, that's amazing. That, that was uh Absolutely luck, but but that's true. This is this true? So that's really good news. But let's go and do this again. And I want to see if you can figure out why I did this. Did this. I said that the top curve was the x was the three minus x squared curve, right? Whoops, sorry about that. X squared curve. And I'm going to subtract out minus the other curve was this, right? It was. 
Control division again. One over x plus one, right? Look at this for a second. There's that curve. And there's that area from here to here. And I did some other math to make sure that these are where the intersections were because there's something going on over here. But I know that what I'm looking for is from here to here. And check this out for a second, if you don't mind. I'm going to analyze the integral here. Let's set it up as best I can right on this intersection right here. You're not going to believe this, are you? Is this really going to happen? And voila. So there's an analysis of those two things. Um, though, if you want to see some other math that I did, because I wanted to know, uh, I wanted to know if this was going to work. So this is what I did. If you're wondering, I was just checking. I looked at this um, curve together. I was a little bit concerned about this piece over here. So I looked here and I was like, you know what? What's the truth here? So this is what I did. I just went to my calculator. I used the solve function on this thing, which is absolutely fantastic. And I just type in SOLV, solve. And then I set the first equation equal to the other one. And I said, so the first equation set equal to the second equation. And the second equation, again, is control division 1 over x plus 1, right? Going to move out using this cursor over here, comma, x. So what this says is solve 3x, I'm sorry, solve 3 minus x squared is equal to 1 over x plus 1 in terms of x, and I hit enter, and I got all this weird crap. This is the one that freaked me out a little bit. I was like, what is that? What is that? But, okay. So I was just trying to make sure that it was what I thought it was. Let me have one second here. Okay, so I kind of got this figured out. <clears throat> this answer right here, this value right here is about negative 0.62 and this value here is about negative um, is positive about 0 0.80 0 0.81 so if we go back here <clears throat> if we go back here and go to view and just go back to our previous screen here and previous screen here this is that negative 2 right here and this is the piece that I knew was the one I wanted so this is just another another way of looking at this so I think that's this is a really really cool way to use this calculator. You can certainly do it the first way and then subtract out the difference, or you can try to combine them and figure out if you're going to do that. You have to figure out which curve is on top of which on the interval that you're looking at. These don't cross again. This is asymptotic here to to negative one, so I know this thing is not going to it's not going to intersect this again. Okay, I hope that was helpful and uh, good work. Good work.